This 24-hour operator console installation video is not a replacement for the installation guide. Please download the latest version and review all the procedures, required tools, and warnings and cautions before proceeding. You can find the most up-to-date installation guide by using the search engine on the Tormach website. Mount the machine arm. The machine arm is mounted to the front end of the machine. Flip the arm so that the nylon washer is on the bottom. Then secure the mounting bracket to the machine with the provided washers and M8 socket head cap screws using a 6mm hex wrench. Slide the monitor post into the square tube arm and secure the bolts with two 17mm wrenches. If the longer bracket arm is facing down, remove the controller arm off with a wrench. Flip it over and then re-secure it. The longer arm should be at the top. Attach four wire tie mounts to the machine arm with the provided 4mm machine screws and a Phillips screwdriver. Mount the keyboard tray and operator console. If you don't have a system available, the console can be set on the 24R to secure to the mounting bracket. Align the operator console against the mounting plate and secure it with the 12mm machine screws. The upper arm will have to be secured in the upright position by using an 8mm hex wrench and a 16mm wrench. Secure the keyboard tray to the monitor bracket with four M5 socket head cap screws, washers, lock washers, and using a 4mm hex wrench. Adjust the console so that the two screw holes on the bottom align with the keyboard tray. Then secure with the M3 Phillips screws. Adjust the operator console to your desired angle, then tightly secure all three bracket points with an 8mm hex wrench and a 16mm wrench. Slide the power supply into the power supply bracket and secure it to the underside of the tray with the M3 Phillips screws. Connect the power supply cable to the power supply. Attach the jog pendant to the side of the operator console with the provided screws. If you order the keyboard and mouse, you can route the USB connections through the keyboard tray, through the rear access holes, and then into the connections under the console. The Ethernet cord, Wi-Fi dongle, and power supply can also be attached into the appropriate connections. There are two e-stop cables included with this kit. Use the black one and slide it through the access hole. Then align the pins and secure them to the bottom of the operator console. Align the jog pendant cable with its connector and secure with the Phillips screwdriver. The jog pendant is secured to the top of the keyboard tray with the cable tie. Route the e-stop cable through both holes of the machine arm, followed by the power cable, and lastly, the ethernet cable. Route these cables into the access hole of the machine and secure them on the inside to the e-stop port accessory power outlet, and the controller communication port. Clean up the rest of the cables under the tray by looping them and securing them to the mount holes with the provided cable ties. Secure the cables along the monitor post cable tie brackets while making sure that they have enough slack for complete movement of the machine arm. Use some snips to cut off all the excess from the cable tie bands. Power on the 24R and the operator console. Start by turning the main disconnect switch to on. Twist out the emergency stop button, then press the reset button. Follow the on-screen prompts to select the 24-hour machine configuration. Then click on save and start. Provide your machine serial number from the serial number plaque when prompted. Once PathPilot brings you to the main screen, press the reset button. If this is a new installation, you should raise the spindle off the shipping block by raising the Z-axis with the page up button. Then starting with the Z-axis, reference the machine. If you run into any issues, the installation guide provides several troubleshooting steps you can follow. If you still have issues, then go to the Tormach website and fill out a support ticket on the support dropdown. Thank you very much for watching.